The paper is about critically informed approaches to information systems research, or to put it another way, we often think why are the information systems we use in organisations not as useful to us as they might be and how could they be improved. Now for a very long time now management theory has accepted the need for systems thinking and the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Unfortunately when we unpick that sometimes that's taken to mean all the different functions in the business fitting together in, um, in synergy. Taking that approach, unfortunately, all the individuals who are in the organisation disappear. We only see them as, uh, as cogs in a wheel or as, um, as like ants populating functions. And really, it's those unique individuals with their own history, experiences, training, education, and the perspectives that are shaped by that personal history. Um, that makes sense of organisational life. You know, organisations are made up of people. The idea of an organisation is actually an emergent property of the interactions among all those unique people. <coughs> now, people don't all agree, they don't all see things the same way. They don't necessarily know when they're disagreeing, when they're talking about the same thing, but perhaps understanding different things by it. We all have our own unique sense-making processes. And so, as critically informed researchers, we have a duty to question taken for granted assumptions, um, what appears to be common sense, um, or even what appears to be best practice in our industry or, or um, service. We need to think about what under, you know, the, the real life of those individuals that underpins all that. And that's what this paper is essentially about. The need for critical reflection, looking at our practice with our eyes open, and questioning not only the assumptions that other people are making, but also our own assumptions about what's going on. Um, and revealing the contextual dependencies um, the real life that we live in organisations. So for instance, if somebody asks my manager, what do I do, he will give them an answer, but it wouldn't necessarily be the same answer as I would give because I'm actually in there, enjoying all the richness of everyday life and my perspective on my job will differ from his. In our research, we need to capture those contextual dependencies and we need to um, think about the sense-making processes that underpin the interactions between people so that we can create information systems that genuinely support what people really go through in everyday life, making decisions and taking action. And in this paper we draw upon the work of some key writers in this field, principally Heinz Klein who wrote a lot about um, interpretive research and how it becomes critical research and how we can critically inform ourselves through research. But we've also focused on um, work by Gregory Bateson, who's a great systems thinker, and also work of Claudio Sibora, who um, took on a lot of these ideas in the field of IS research and um, gave us lots of interesting things to think about in relation to them.